Hey, dude, CI here. So listen, I've watched three movies this week, and I have strong feelings about all of them. I don't consider myself a music expert, but on these, I'm ready to sort of lay down the, the knowledge, okay? We've got one movie that's incredibly underrated, one movie that's incredibly overrated, and one movie that caught me completely by surprise. The first one, underrated movie, The Adjustment Bureau. Have you seen it? I love it. It's one of the, it's just such a great movie start to finish and nobody talks about it. It just kind of came and went and nobody thought about it. It's a wonderful sort of sci-fi thing um, with, you know, like people controlling stuff. You don't understand what's going on. And these two normal people are caught up in the middle of it. That's wonderful. And then they've got a love story built into it that is first rate. I mean, every moment that Matt Damon and Emily Blunt are on the screen together is electric. I love everything about this movie. And nobody ever talks about it. The Adjustment Bureau. Completely underrated. Check it out. You'll love it too. Now, completely overrated? Heat. This is a movie from like 95. But everybody has always talked about it as like one of the great heist movies. You know, all sorts of action and they're stealing stuff and they're trying to catch people. And it's one of the great heist movies of all time. Except it sucks. I watched it this week and oh my god, it's just... It's not a good movie. Well, for starters, it's three hours. I feel like if you're going to make a bad movie, you should at least make it a short bad movie. But they decided instead to make a long bad movie. Why does everyone think this is one of the great heist movies of all time? It's terrible. Don't watch Heat. And now, the movie that caught me completely by surprise, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh my god! This is one of the, this is one of the best superhero movies I think I've ever seen. Like, if I were to make a top five list of superhero movies, it's got a chance at making it. It was really good. The action was great. The comedy was great. The storyline was great. The acting was great. The directing. It was just first rate on every level. Spider-Man Homecoming completely caught me by surprise. I, I, I don't know whether it's underrated or overrated because... I don't know what people are saying about it, but what they should be saying is that it's fucking awesome and that you should go see it. So there you go. Underrated, The Adjustment Bureau. Overrated, Heat. And really caught me by surprise, Spider-Man Homecoming. That's it for me, guys. See you next week.